now that we've reviewed your rod, let's talk about the line and its components. Let's talk about how the backing connects to the line, how the line connects to the leader, and how the leader connects to tippet to build out your fly line. Let's talk about backing first. Backing is the line that connects to your reel. You could fish without it, but it helps in two ways. Number one, it fills in the extra space in your reel to help retrieve the line faster. Think of turning over a crank on a small bicycle. The wheel will only covers so much ground. Now think about turning that same pedal on a road bike or a mountain bike. That same turn is going to cover a larger portion of the ground. Number two, when you hook into that large fish and he does run, you're going to need that extra line to work him back into the net. So what knot should you use to attach the backing to the reel? The arbor knot. The arbor knot is the easiest knot to tie. Watch this video to find out how. Your fly line. Yes, this can be one of the most complicated buying decisions out there. There seems to be more fly line selections than flies, and each line has a unique selling feature for the specifics that you are trying to accomplish. I suggest that the beginners start with an all-around line that we can use for both dry fly fishing and nymphing. As soon as you get comfortable catching fish, then you can go out and experiment with additional lines. So what knot should you use to attach the line to the backing? The answer is the double surgeon's knot or the blood knot. In this next video, we're going to show you the blood knot. Uh, in the next video, after that, we're going to show you the double surgeons. But just to let you know, so you're not confused, that you can find all these videos in the download section located in the top right hand corner of this website. Now that you have your backing and fly line, your last step is the leader and the tippet. The leader and the tip are the last sections of your line that provide an invisible transition from your brightly colored fly line to the fly line that the fish will attack. The tippet tapers from a thick back end to a thinner front end that connects to your fly. This material is almost invisible to the fish when it hits the water. One of the great things about modern fly lines and leaders is that they both come with a pre-tied loop on one end. These can be easily connected from one side to the other. Just like your fly line, you'll have a ton of options. My favorite option for trout out of the package is 4X and 5X, but the poundage of fish you're hunting will determine the leader that you need to buy. Uh, here's going to be a graph of the X system and its poundage. Probably asking yourself, what is the X system? Well, the X system is a factor that describes the strength and diameter of the fly fishing leader and tippet material. The smaller the X number, like a 1X, the stronger the tippet is, or leader. So. The strongest thing you can buy is a 03X that's on the marketplace right now. The lightest thing for trout and panfish is going to be an 8X. Once again, what I like to use is a 4 or 5X depending on what I'm fishing. And the last but not least, the tippet. The tippet is the last section of your fly line. If you're using one fly setup, you can tie your fly directly to your leader. But with the drift hook fly fishing system, a tippet is extremely important with our fly combinations for optimal success. There are two types of tippet on the marketplace. There's monofilament and there's fluorocarbon. Monofilament has more stretch and floats higher on the water. Because of its stretch, it's less likely to have knot breaks. On the other hand, fluorocarbon sinks faster in water and is more durable due to its hardness. But the knots don't stay as strong because of this tendency not to be flexible. The one key difference between monofilament and fluorocarbon is that monofilament is nearly invisible underwater. Professional guys will tell you that the greatest invention of fly fishing in the last 15 years has been the introduction of fluorocarbon. You don't have to worry about broken knots if you can't catch any fish. So what size tippet should you be purchasing? I recommend 3X, 4X, 5X, and 6X. When we dive into the drift hook fly fishing system, we're going to be using all four of these weights. Extending your leader. The great thing about tippet is that if your leader is getting short, you can build your own leader with tippet. So how do we do this? We're going to connect the tippet to the leader using a double surgeon's knot. In the next video, you will learn how. And remember, you can always find this video in the download section of the Drift Hook Fly Fishing System. is not as much
much as you can. We're going to be using this in the future to build out multiple rigs as part of the drift hook fly fishing system. So my guess is that your mind is now swimming with knots, but don't worry. After you have your line set up for the first time, the rest of the day you're most likely only going to use this one knot. In the next session, we'll review all the knots so you have an easy reference point for future use. Now let's tie your last knot and get ready to go fishing. The improved clinch knot. This was the first knot my father ever taught me. And I have to admit that I can't keep my shoes tied to save my life. But I can tie this knot in the dark. 